This is one of the most irritating riddles I've seen. Three friends go to a restaurant and the bill comes to $30, so they pay $10 each. But then the manager realises that the bill should only have been $25 and gives $5 to the waiter to give back to the friends. The waiter notices that the $5 can't be split equally between the three friends and decides to keep $2 as a tip and give each friend $1 back. They don't know the total of the new bill, so no harm done. The friends have now paid $9 each for their meal. That's $27 plus the $2 the waiter to get, that's $29, but they originally paid $30. What happened to the other dollar? If this is the first time you've come across this riddle, pause or save the video, give it a go, then come back when you're sufficiently irritated by it. Now, here's a piece of advice that might serve you not only in math riddles, but also in everyday life. Just because someone is saying something confidently with numbers, it doesn't mean that what they're saying makes any mathematical sense. The problem here isn't the missing dollar. Spoiler there's no missing dollar. The problem is that we're doing nonsense maths simply because the riddler told us to. Why should we be adding the money that the friends spent to the money that the waiter made? And why should we be expecting that to add up to $30? The friends don't have $9 each, they're down $9 each. The waiter is up $2. We have no business adding these things. So first I'm going to convince you that there's no missing dollar, then we'll talk about the misdirection in the riddle. When it comes to problems, my motto is, if in doubt, draw it out. Let's follow the money. $30 passes from the friends to the restaurant. Let's change up one of those tens into a five and five ones. The five ones go to the waiter, who keeps two of them and passes three back to the friends. So the restaurant has $25, the waiter has $2, and the three friends have a dollar each, making $30. No missing dollar, they're all accounted for. The problem in the riddle comes from adding the tip to what the friends have already spent. The new bill comes to $25 plus an involuntary $2 tip. That's $27 in total, which divided by three means the friends pay $9 each. This includes the tip. It doesn't make any sense to add the tip on again. But the riddle relies on the coincidence that if the riddler can convince us to add the tip again, we'll get $29, which is suspiciously close enough to $30 to make us think that the amount of 30 is still important. But once the refund has been made, it's old news, and any search for a missing dollar makes no sense.